to fail in the first five years. Any ideas besides what's up there? Anything you want to add to that list? Maybe lack of manpower, lack of help. Okay. So, in the first five years, 80% of businesses fail. How many of you are under five years? Does that scare you a bit? No. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. So, the 20% that survive, you then have 80% of them that fail the second five years. Why? Do you know why? Any ideas? They got complacent. Complacent? Great. Why else? Burnout. You're really good. Come <laughs> on. Wouldn't a lot of these have changed with technology? You know, the number one growth stock in 1990 is Now they're closed. You know, we were looking at businesses, and I told one of my sons, we're not going to do anything like Wi Fi, anything that's going to be replaced in three years. So I think some of this would just be your interest, maybe you good. The technology is abruptly changing. Mm -hmm. look, look at the bookstores, even. Mm -hmm. you know, is it the technology or is it their inability to adapt? Yeah. I look at the bookstores mm -hmm. in 1990. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, then you've got Amazon and all the other people coming That's in the world. Then right. you've got Kino and, and all the other things coming. And, you know, Borders tried. I mean, they had bad management. But I'm just saying, sometimes it's got to be technology and things that just replace you. And, and that's true, and that's part but of it. Tower being... Records, another example. Oh, I can go back past um, how much I'm going to buggy. Yeah, you can go back. Yeah. And, you know, so part of that, but part of that is understanding and seeing it and learning how to adapt. There are going to be those situations, and they're probably the 5% rather than the 95%, but most small businesses don't go out of business because of technology, but it's burnout. And the reason that they don't adapt is that they're doing the same thing over and over and they're putting in the 18 to 20 hours a day. And they're just, they get to a who cares, I don't, I don't care. It's what happened to Kodak. Yeah, that they, uh, they did not do the adapting that they needed to be able to do to go to that ne next level and reinvent themselves. I'll go to the circus. There's a great <laughs> book out there called Blue Ocean Strategy. Okay, and it talks about the circus. Is the circus somewhat dead at this point in time? You would think it's somewhat of a dead industry. I mean, they're, they're around, but not like they were before. <clears throat> so if the circus is a totally dead industry, you know, not maybe totally, but fairly dead, and people don't go to the circus, then why do we spend $129, $159, $200 a ticket to go to Cirque du Soleil? And Cirque du Soleil was created out of people in the circus industry that said, we will not be in business, we will not have this if we don't reinvent ourselves. So what do we have to do to reinvent ourselves? And Blue Ocean Strategy just talked about that whole aspect of looking at what's different. And Bob, that's a lot of what doesn't happen, is that they don't go and step out and say, what's my level of obsolescence coming out? Because they're so tired that you just, can't see the forest for the trees. Well, I'm like, sure you've read it, but have you read the Steve? And anybody here, the Steve Jobs? Oh, yeah, and it's phenomenal. The one that's just out. Yeah. I mean, he reinvented it, not just the telephone, but the music. I was in the music industry, <coughs> and all they would do was suing everybody. You know, uh, and then he comes along, 99 cents to get going. He got the Beatles the first time in history. Right. To come in with him. He reinvented four different industries. Well, he also put, went and created an industry. Oh, right, Joe. Yeah. He created it. How many of us 10 years ago cared about, uh, knew, knew that we even needed to have a map on our phone or music on our phone? 10 years ago, it wasn't even there. But that's the type of thing that the visionary aspect is looking at your business. And we're not all going to be apples. We'd like to be. Actually, we just really want the revenue from it. Um, but we're not, but within our business, within what we're doing, we've